extent of God can extend to is called the kingdom of God. But the kingdom of heaven is that portion of the kingdom of God where in experience, the life and the culture of heaven has been allowed to find expression. Listen, we have ended up complicating Christianity. But do you know, I, I noticed that most of the people that shook their generation, most of them were not even educated people. They took the Bible, Smith Wigglesworth, he was a cobbler. His wife was even the woman of God. And he just found in his Bible, John 14 verse 12. Hallelujah. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you, if thou, let's read it. John 14. Absolute faith. I found out that what most believers have is hope not faith many believers hope in god they don't have faith in god they just hope that one day in the sweet by and by verse 12 john 14 verse 12 verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me who is speaking here this is jesus christ the works that i do he shall also do and greater works say greater works and greater works shall he do this is jesus christ talking here not an angel if he sent a prophet would have said oh the prophet didn't hear well are you listening to me jesus himself said this verily verily i say unto you he that believes and smith wigglesworth found this and said lord are you serious about this that an uneducated person like me if i can believe if i can believe and god said yes catherine kuman found this amphi mcpherson found this generals of old found this verily verily he that believes not he that is born again not he that is praying in tongues he that believes absolute trust The works that I do, the works that I do, he shall also do. He say, and greater works, greater works. Many people have tried to give every kind of carnal interpretation. Brother, greater means greater. You went to school. Greater means greater. Greater works. That means if you are not seeing greater works, what is the diagnosis? You do not believe. Now, let me tell you something. When it comes to spiritual growth, you have to apply a lot of humility because the word of God has a way of flogging you and embarrassing you. When I was studying this scripture, I said, Lord, does that mean I don't believe in you? God says, simple, to the degree to which you are seeing my works. And I knew I had to accept it. Because brothers and sisters, I have seen a mystery in our world that is not everything that is impossible for everybody. There are some people, some things are possible for. Are you listening to me? There are some people standing and praying, Oh Lord, bring a boat. And then we see others get on that water and begin to move. The fact that there is one person doing what you are not doing, it kills the excuse that is God that is responsible. Are you listening to me? He that believes in me. The works. I remember one of the first times I read this scripture, I was studying Pastor Chris's message and Kenyon on faith. We are going to prepare for crusade never had that experience we didn't know what to expect but we took this word and said lord this is true how many of you truly believe in god how many of you believe in god let me tell you something Ejimi did something that touched me i remember during his mother's um, burial he just came out and laughed and said those who didn't even affect them 
they just sat down and were looking and he said god loaned them the mother for a number of years and he was so happy and they kept saying god is faithful and i move forward there are listen there are many of you who have been sitting grumbling shouting at god saying god you are not true do you know you are one over how many people who are saying god is faithful if you say god is not faithful there are angels whose voices are louder than your own they, it will overshadow your unbelief in an instant one word holy Are you listening to me do you believe god's word many of you have been reading your bible let me tell you something brothers and sisters there are many pastors there are many ministries who only open the bible because they are looking for messages to preach to people they don't believe it's easy to stand and wear suit and make noise on sunday or on wednesday or on friday or whatever the meeting days are there are many leaders who truly do not believe the word of God tonight I'm asking you do you believe the word of God do you believe that Jesus Christ and all the promises that he has put in the word for you can you take it with childlike simplicity and say Lord I believe do you believe Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that says the thoughts I think towards you there are many of you from the time you got to final year your fear is a direct sign that you don't believe God whatever I fear in my life the faith and the revelation of God's word has not entered there because perfect love cast out fear so if you are afraid of the future let me assure you that the revelation of God's word that secures your future has not entered you yet are you listening to me absolute trust father Abraham and the generals of old these guys believed God and there was a performance and we began to see the fruit and the manifestation of that faith you came to ABU and you believed God that you'll be a success then your first result 1.5 seven carryovers hey, hey god you said this boy you just said lord i believe you you just said lord i believe you you just said no matter what lord your word is true and i know that this is not over hallelujah your uncle promised you that it's going to be blessing you suddenly your uncle said i've changed my mind he said how about uncle he said the only constant thing in life is change i have changed my mind and suddenly fear grips you i tell you friends fear is an indication that the word of god has not crystallized in that area in your life for when the word of god truly comes it drives out fear say i refuse to fear there are so many believers living in the world we confess god's word we believe god's word in quote but then the sign that we have not believed is we are still afraid and then there is no performance in our lives those who command results there are many of you that believe you are carrying the healing anointing you have not prayed for one sick body because you are afraid of embarrassment you don't believe it you don't believe it hallelujah I have a passion to get you to a point where you believe the word of God because the Bible says if thou canst believe all things are possible I challenge myself every time I say Lord why am I seeing that I, I, I was doing a Bible study with someone yesterday day before yet okay yesterday I think Sandra yes we're having Bible study and we were talking about the life the ministry of jesus christ and tears filled my eyes while i was talking because i couldn't deny the fact that my life was far from the jesus life that i see this guy was a man of faith nothing moved him he believed the father he believed the word he had such audacity he commanded results 
believers what is wrong with us hallelujah i tell you the truth it's easy to feel like you are trying and i understand you are doing your best but it does not negate the fact that this revelation has not yet entered us because when the word enters you i tell you there is a performance i will die believing this thing i'm sharing with you how much of god do you believe many of us have our spiritual life then we have our normal life the one that works with wisdom let's be wise let's reason now don't be stupid so you, we make bold claims but when we step out there there are all kinds of fears and we begin to patch the word of god and and manifest auxiliary faith the lord is asking you a question tonight do you have absolute faith in him hallelujah i don't know if i can answer and say lord i have absolute faith in you maybe i can say i have faith but it may not be absolute because i know what absolute faith has done in thy bible i've read my bible very well and men who had absolute faith they rose beyond limitations and shook their generation they had no internet are you listening to me no people that produce posters look at the life of jesus for instance the bible says in the book of mark that jesus was in a room and he said the whole city came and gathered in front of the room what what kind of result will a man command like this there are all kinds of excuses we keep giving ourselves read the bible the, see the secret of ena is found in mark 1 2 3 go and read it the bible says jesus went to capernaum there multitudes heard about him and they came jesus went to the desert the same multitudes came jesus went by the seaside the same multitudes came jesus climbed the mountain the same multitudes came same result same power he casted out devils he healed the sick he preached the word he taught the word the performance look at me all of you look up if you were to suddenly see the vision of jesus christ the real jesus and he stood here and jesus suddenly made an announcement and said i am giving you 10 minutes the first 10 people who come to me whatever their needs are it will be met how many of you will check your we before coming why are you not doing that to me simple i you you do not yet trust that my level of competence has gotten to that place are you listening to me if you are hungry for god you have to get the truth and press to it i assure you listen to me brothers and sisters if jesus christ walked here right now before you finish the ministers will gap you because they will fly on his leg and say jesus you don't know how i've waited i already have my list i'm not about to write and you just drop it every time people heard about jesus they started laughing you know why they knew the result had come they just started laughing their own issue was to get to see him but your issue is not to see me your issue is that is to ascertain lord now that i've seen joshua help him let there be grace that is available this night to at least be able to meet some of my needs i tell you you don't know how it pains me when people come up here and say i wrote seven prayer points in a miracle service two have been answered in my mind i say okay seven minus two is what help me seven minus two is what if you drop your prayer point directly to the person christ how many will be met tell me how many will be met this is the kind of hunger and honesty that will drive you to the anointing i refuse to give excuses it simply means there is a light that i've not seen there is a depth of anointing i've not stepped into there is a dimension of the operation of the spirit 
that I've not gotten to yet. That's why whether you say Apostle Josh, Bishop Josh, I won't be misled with all of those nonsense. There is work to be done. Are you listening to me? Hmm. Those of you who are already confident, I'm laying hands on three people. I'm laying hands on five people. You stopped reading your Bible, that's why. Pick up your Bible and read it again and be ashamed of your pride. And find out that there is work to be done. I tell you, if ministers knew this, the Bible would be the best tool that they will have. I refuse to give excuses. Are you listening to me? That my life will make such a mark. See, we have dwelt in this unbelief to a point that when anybody is exceptional, people say, this guy is not real. Oh, be careful. This Joshua Selman guy is not real. I'm warning you now. Tomorrow, don't say it's any kind of thing. Because people are so complacent. The average pastor, there are three things that many men of God are looking for and they'll be satisfied in ministry. One, to have a crowd. Two, to at least be able to say something from this Bible. It doesn't matter what it is. Number three, and then let there be at least just one person who will fall. They say, you think I'm playing? Oh, what a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Is that what you think will shake the world? That's not uncommon enough. We are talking about commanding authority over territories. One miracle that, let me tell you something. In the days of the generals, all newspapers was about the generals and the fearful miracles they did. Right now, when last, the man must pay for advert. If you see advert in the newspaper, he paid for it. To say, okay, my program is around. Please just check. Are you listening to me? There are some people in Zaria that have never even heard that there is anything called koinonia. What are we boasting for? Hmm. Look at Elijah. He stands somewhere. The whole city, the whole city didn't hear him. He just said there shall not be rain. The whiplash of drought started making people find out who is responsible for this. I say one guy, Elijah, one man like this. And the gist started spreading. Elijah, who is he? They said, go and look for him now. And the king says, because the king's ego is, is spoiled, he's embarrassed. He says, go and catch that man. 50 people march and stand. And Elijah is taking fresh air on the mountain. And they interrupt his fellowship. This was a man like you. Are you listening to me? old covenant for you new creation old covenant elijah looks and says if i be a man of god let fire come down right now we have different ways of speaking when you stand you say if i be standing in the authority and moving in the office the department and the office of the christ let it come fire doesn't come you're not getting it we are just teaching congregations English and vocabulary. We are just having a brilliant and an educated but powerless church. Well, right now there's improvement. Everybody is falling everywhere. Everybody is falling everywhere. Just watch TV. A man of signs and wonders. Before they say anything, people just fall. And that's all you have to show the world. Something is wrong. That's all you have to show the world. That a man just fell down, and then they, or now prophets himself is even him. Come, you are you are Gladys. You are from the east. Your mother is sick. Your uncle traveled. You are an ABU student, and then the congregation claps. What? What? How? Look, real prophets. This is what they say. There is coming a problem in Zaria, but I stop it. That's a real mandate that you stand and tell the people what Satan wants to do and you stop it. The creative power of the spoken word. Mantaka 
we just have a group of revelatory people even the native doctors can create they have helped to give you the one to reveal when are we going to get angry that we are going to begin to command territorial results listen if two dead people how many if two dead people rise in koinonia i assure you if you come by 2 30 next friday you will stand outside critics look at the bible the bible says people came and filled where jesus was sitting mark chapter 2 and the bible says others were standing outside when jesus saw the fate of the man that they brought the bible says the scribes who came early and were seated in front they said why are you forgiving his sins if they came late they would have been outside even them they rushed and came early for that meeting jesus had no nonsense he climbed the mountain brothers and sisters human beings like you stayed with a man for three days on the mountain the closest thing to what we are supposed to do is what government officials and politicians are doing go to the house of politicians you will see a man who has five or six children sitting outside you say why is he i'm waiting for his excellency that's the, it's called hunger the man has fruit where he got it is irrelevant he shall has fruit when believers come to church and after one hour it's not true i tell you the truth is a sign of lack of true fire in the days of Amphi McPherson, listen, she had a program called Stretcher Only. Meaning, if you are not sick, you are not invited for that meeting. What is our the, name? The kind of conferences we have right now business special for only the ones that are successful. Only you are not successful, you are not a businessman, walk outside. The people are already successful, Pastor. Don't lie, it's not your anointing that is making them successful. These guys suffered in the bowels of time and got their money and then you stand and say receive they have it already somebody is budgeting to buy a car of 5 million he has gotten 4.8 you are speaking speaking what takes two months salary to complete it and buy his car if I can speak to you and tomorrow they give you a car I'm a real prophet don't go and meet somebody that's already tried if I meet Pastor Williams, I say a jeep tomorrow, of course. Common sense tells me he's ah. Am I challenging you? I know you don't like the message. Sorry, you came. You must hear it this night. Koinonia, where hunger is put in you again. See, a man called St. Patrick. Let me tell you something about St. Patrick hallelujah saint patrick was such a powerful man he was a dangerous man a snake beat in ireland a snake beat a a woman's daughter and she was crying and saint patrick was just meandering around the street and he saw her he said madam why are you crying she said a snake beat her he said a snake beat you where where did the snake go to hallelujah and they showed him the forest he entered and sat for the snake he held it he said you and your kind i banish you from this land till today there's no snake in ireland hallelujah the king got to hear just about saint patrick he said who is that man they said that guy is we don't even know what to call him and the king said what sign will he show me the king's son died six months he said go and call saint patrick six months they had put him in the grave when saint patrick came true life story saint patrick looked he signed his signature and wrote saint patrick on the grave he said dig it out that's how they carried that boy out what are we boasting for it was saint patrick that began what you hear in hubert angels channel christ in me christ beside me christ before me christ above me today we say a man of faith and power and he comes with his big stomach no revelation close heavens every kind of thing he says well i was in my hotel room or god performed and we waste people's time telling them the price of suits that we are buying 
challenging you tonight commanding results do you believe in the Lord there was a monk they were trying to build their church a Catholic monk and I think they made a mistake in the measurement and then they came and the wood was short the guy just held the wood and started moving that's how he drew it and completed it I tell you the truth Auntie McFarcel will organize programs the only people invited are those on stretchers that's a real miracle service not what we are doing Charles and Francis Hunter they work close to some of these dimensions in a single meeting they raise 100 wheelchairs brothers and sisters replace all the seats that are in this place just imagine in your mind they are wheelchairs and just move them here imagine if everybody here were crippled this is the kind of service there are many men of God if you invite them in a service and they see three people on wheelchair they just do as if they didn't see I know my God will heal they are laying hands and will just jump the person and then you say what manner of man is Jesus he made the lame to walk I wonder what the lame person is singing and the shadows of Peter men lined up in the streets because they said Peter is coming Peter is coming and I can imagine a woman please come from bed and Peter says bless you bless you suddenly you are hearing shouts hallelujah thank you Jesus if we have half of that anointing I will put this thing will be a basket a bowl and then you put it you write my name Joshua and then my picture will be here you come and touch it lick it put it in your wallet put it in your purse bath with the pour water on it and go and bath madness all those things because we do not understand women shook their generations right now there are men of God who are on TV but nobody knows them they air three times a week as they are saying now we thank you for this broadcast you cannot even remember who preached again the only thing you remember is gloss suit as if they printed it in a, in a printing press noise F leaves with no fruit hallelujah am I challenging you because we need to rise friends this is an apostolic generation you cannot be satisfied with what we are seeing what we are doing now is joke I tell you it's not ministry yet Archbishop Benson Idahosa he was driving okay they were driving him an armed robber stopped them park park stop the driver was afraid Idahosa just opened his mouth he told the person to open the door for him first he came out the armed robber lie down lie down he just looked at them he said one of three things must happen to you this night either you will be paralyzed you will be blind or you will die but one must happen this night will land brothers ever spokane was called the cleanest city during the time of john g lake you know the way they admit people in shika that's how you come to his hospital you collect a form to prove that you had the healing anointing you will go and bring seven people that you healed that's how he admits if you say you are sensing the call of God upon your life he said go and bring seven people with what used to happen to them and what you have done then he will consider whether you are qualified to be his staff can you imagine that was a yastic now everybody a man with a strong healing anointing I came all the way 50 kilometers to tell you your while they are talking the demons are saying now wow saying before when men were around there was fire you know these demons have been around since they knew the fire upon these men and they ask one another they say, ah, when these guys died they didn't transfer anything and all of those men 
they were called brother this brother that now you call joshua selma an apostle you know i fear that name because i just remember apostle paul apostle smith wigglesworth apostle john g lake apostle saint patrick apostle josh for where for where you won't deceive me no way but many of you are already parading sons and daughters you say call me pastor this go and sit down go and sit down in one place and gather yourself together and first ask what god has called you to do say in the name of jesus i believe and yet the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 it says so that day without us that means our generation is still coming the bible says this do you know before smith wigglesworth died i'll share with you some stories today before smith wigglesworth died when he was laying hands on lester sumro he told him something he said look make sure you don't die with your anointing he said look for young men that are serious and transfer this anointing to them and then he laid hands on him and began to prophesy he said i see a generation a generation that what we have done will look like a step out of the cave compared to what they are doing apostle babalola cac you see there are many denominations today that don't do not even believe what their founders live for apostle babalola he was said listen he was said that that guy was so powerful a time came when he was preaching and he started lifting literally see the water that the concept of holy water came from him he was thirsty praying on a mountain and there was no water and he struck the rock and said let water come man they are the type you say men to not 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 the, the, the people who are saying men we are, we are called you call us children am i challenging you do you know apostle babalola was moving there was a council now this one i attended a pastor's conference by apostle atb williams in kafanchan emmanuel kure's conference and him, and he was saying this he said that apostle babalola when they wanted to call him when people said there's a gentleman that had the fire of god there were certain elders like seven or eight of them they said they don't believe he's called look at the miracles that this man was doing they said they are not yet convinced that he has the anointing in other words this guy is still a joker he's playing ministry all of them prayed and a few said actually they have received confirmation the elders refused they say until god speaks to every one of them one by one before they were agreed one day they were praying together and there was a madman running and disturbing people in the street and apostle babalola just came out from the forest he was just moving in the city not going for a program no protocol no mic he was just meandering around the street and that guy came out and people were running yard matches and was driving people and then the elders were watching the lord told them to watch and they were watching through the window and apostle Baba, when the madman came close to him he said but you are not mad now he collected his matches he said, sit down here please that was how those men confirmed that god really called this guy now how do we confirm that god has called a man once you just see a guy that is handsome he looks like eliab you just say surely surely and see you see ministers and the body of christ there is no pressure whatsoever on us to press for more you look at a man of god and see that he's absolutely satisfied even yes some men of god say i'm so fulfilled and he's showing you his watch i'm so fulfilled there are sick people coming there are oppressed people coming and jesus caused that victory he said because you have deceived me you made me to come all the way you made me to do everything i'm doing 
and you have been deceiving many like that let me tell you there are many people that god himself would dethrone out of ministry and out of certain places of honor because if we keep deceiving god's people and claiming come for miracle service are the people really receiving miracles or do we just celebrate one miracle a fractured hand god healed when i was watching what the media people played i tell you i i was happy but i was angry at the same time or a robot healed people to a point that he was tired they just prayed on a mountain and told people to come and touch it that's the real me now people drink one gallon of water and nothing happens he said drink it prophetic water you drink it you 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 they say take come and buy a special i saw a man of god praying for one woman the anointing oil is like this 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 uh, uh, so, so, uh this pure tag bottle he poured some on her head told her to pour some Hi. what men of god do to people and ask her to drink everything that's how she drank in my presence it was on, on tv drank everything the man said yes if you drink oil like that you will be sick you will be very sick we spend over 30 minutes trying to minister to one person look at jesus i will be made clean come on he saw the demons go and they left what is wrong am i is the only me that is having this anger many of you are saying i won't be a man of god please turn and face these people 